delicacies of the world to the point that it makes me forget the pearl. Well, you know the joint that we should all be working for every waking minute. But wait a minute, life's problems seem infinite. But my mission reminds me that this world is definite and I should never forget my etiquette or let it decay as I parlay from one scenario to the next. Yes, we all get vexed, overwhelmed, and perplexed by the glitter that's not gold. But of the gold that we hold that does not glitter, I remind myself that shine is something sublime that can turn bitter into sweetness. My man is down, but I know I can't defeat this, turn my life around if I so intend to. Can't waste any more time trying to bend to ways and then the scope of things are illogical. My mission is to try and overcome my psychological predispositions that are not of my fit throw. Every time I perceive one coming, I duck. Man, what the f <laughs> it's not just our bad luck, it's a matter of destiny. Trials and tribulations can take a chunk, but they can't take the rest of me. I ask God to bless me in times of weakness, and especially in strength. They're all tests the length of which I cannot see. But I don't have to, you see, because my definition of purpose has already taught me that in this life there'll be deficits in the occasional surplus. And I should measure them all against a blessed benchmark that harps at me beautifully. My adherence to it is crucially vital. Now I've been given faculties of reason and therefore know that life is a cycle. And it's a form of treason to yourself to always be naming ignorance as your perpetual reason of defeat, albeit your name Michael, Muhammad, Mary, or Khadija. Now the procedure that we lack is to go for the root. Instead, we like to intrigue ourselves trying to refute countless branches that once cut always grow back. So I guess their importance can only be derived from the fact that they're growing from some kind of foundation. And so my elation stems from the, so my elation stems from the subsequent verification of this matter which has thus determined my path. No, it's not calculus that I blabber, it's just pure, simple math. I, no one or nothing else is an object of worship, to the contrary I, Worship one whose face I pray to one day see a reward for a lifelong endeavor to know that I have sought for, fought for, and achieved this pleasure, a treasure of untold fortune and success till eternity. I made it. I passed the test. No, it wasn't to get from primary to secondary. It wasn't the SAT, the GMAT, TOEFL, ILITS, or the GRE. It wasn't for an undergrad or a master's degree or even a PhD or any other certificate that next to it is an obsolete, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the completion of a soul's journey back home. Wow. Back from the battlefields, the good and evil, from where it used to roam, not an easy feat, in light of our present day situation. It's a realization often met with too little, too late. Woe to the ones who procrastinate and don't prepare. Woe to me. Some say that life isn't fair, but I'd like to disagree. I just think that we tend not to take these lives of ours seriously. I mean, seriously. Would you study literature for months on end, just eventually sit and exam in biology? Or would you, or would we, or would I do all that we could do to prepare ourselves adequately? Now, I'm not, I'm not just talking about last minute cram sessions just to regurgitate theoretical lessons that are mostly bullshit to me. Life of true utility, strapped in a bed of aimlessness of utility and emotional strife, ultimately alone. My mission in life, even if I get lost, is to find my way back to the path, get on it, and follow it until I reach home.